Hi everyone, I'm Sharon Smith, and today we are going to add and subtract time in Excel. We're going to take a close look at how Excel handles time formatting so that we can accurately calculate a payroll timesheet. Then we're going to take a closer look at the time function so that we can create an add or subtract time calculator in Excel. Let's take a look. Before we get to our timesheet example, let's take a close look at how to add and subtract time in Excel. So for adding time, it's important to note the different ways that time can be displayed in Excel. We can have hours and minutes displayed as 5 colon 25. We can have hours, minutes, and seconds. We can do AM, PM, a 24-hour clock, or even display time as recorded in hours, minutes, and seconds, but over 24 hours. So let's take a look at how we would actually add time. And so when we type time into Excel, it recognizes it as time, it'll format it a certain way, and then we can actually just add it like we normally would two other values in Excel. So if we come over here and we want to sum these two values for our project tasks to figure out how much time we've spent doing that, all we have to do is come over here on the Home tab and click on Auto Sum, and then hit Enter. And that's going to give us 8 hours and 15 minutes. Now, let's say that we are going to enter time that would exceed 24 hours. So let's just put 16, 30, and 18, 25. Now we know that that's more than 10 hours and 55 minutes. So it's how Excel is recognizing the formatting of this cell. So we need to update that. So right click on the cell and select on Format Cells. And down here under Custom, come over here to Type. We're going to select that and we're going to type in open bracket, H, close bracket, colon, MM. And those brackets are telling Excel to allow more than 24 hours in the calculation. And then we're going to click OK. And now it correctly displays as 34 hours and 55 minutes. So now let's go down here and see how we can use the time function to actually add an amount of time to a certain time value. And so we want to add an hour and 30 minutes to 9 a.m. So all we have to do is select our cell, hit equals, and then we're going to select the cell that we want to add, and then we're going to say plus, and then we're going to insert the time function. So all we have to do is start typing time. And then we open a parentheses, and then the syntax for the time function is hour, comma, minute, comma, seconds. So we're going to add one hour, comma, and then 30 for our minutes, comma, zero for seconds, and close our parentheses and hit enter. And that gives us 10.30 a.m. and allows us to use this as a calculator to add time to a specific time that we want to look at. Now let's take a look at how we would subtract time in Excel. Now when we subtract time in Excel, there's a few things we want to keep in mind. We can display elapsed time as either a number, so this would be displayed as six and a half hours, or as six hours, 30 minutes. And we want to display this as a number, so we're going to reformat that after we do our calculation. So let's calculate how much time has elapsed between the ending and starting times over here. So we're going to just select our cell, hit equals, and then we're going to select our end time minus our start time, and then hit Enter. Now that gives us eight hours of time, but we want to display this as a number, as a decimal to two spaces. So what we want to do is select the cell, right click, click on Format Cells, and instead of Custom, we're going to come up here to Number, and we have that to two decimals, and we're going to click OK. Now notice that gives us a fraction of time, and the reason it's being stored as 0.33 is that Excel is storing this as a fraction of a 24-hour day. So to get the correct 8 hours of time, we're going to need to multiply this by 24. So all we have to do is select our cell, and we're going to come up into our formula bar and put parentheses around our formula up here. So the total amount of time that elapsed, we want to multiply that by 24. So we're going to say asterisk 24 and hit enter. And that's going to give us 8.0, the 8 hours of time that we want to display. Now then all we have to do is copy that formula down and it will retain all of the formatting 
and it will display even over 24 hours will display correctly as 25.5 hours. Now, just like we did when we added time using the time function, we can also subtract time using the time function. So if we want to subtract an hour and a half from a time, all we have to do is hit equals, select the cell with the time, minus, and then we put the time function. So start typing time, open parentheses, one comma, 30 comma, zero for seconds, and close the parentheses and hit enter. And that gives us our calculated time of 7.30. Now let's move on to our timesheet example. Okay, so here I want to calculate total hours worked as a number so that I can multiply that by someone's hourly rate and figure out their earnings. And so I have here an example of when people clocked in, when they clocked out for the day, and then when they took their lunch break. So a clock in and out for their lunch break. So what we want to do here, I've got the formula over here that explains what we're going to do. But we're basically going to come over, we're going to say equals, and then we're going to open up a parentheses, and we're going to say the clock out time minus the clock in time, and close parentheses. That gives us the total hours worked for the day. But we want to subtract the amount of time that someone was on their lunch break. So we're going to say minus, parentheses, and then their break end time minus the break start time, and then close those parentheses. Now we want to put parentheses around that entire time frame there, so we're going to open and close a parentheses at the beginning and end of those two formulas, and then we're going to say times 24 and hit enter. And that's going to give us our total hours worked. And we can always right click, select format cells, and make sure that that is formatted as the number that we want and click OK. Now, if we had left this calculated as, as time, as an hour of time, then we may not be able to multiply that successfully to get the earnings. So that's why we want this to be represented as a number. And then all we have to do is copy that all the way down by double clicking and then we can insert our hourly rate and copy that down. We can format those cells as a currency and then figure out our earnings. We can format that cell as currency as well. And then we can say equals our hourly rate times our total hours worked and hit enter. And that'll give us our total earnings that we can then copy all the way down. So now you know how to add and subtract time in Excel as well as use the time function whenever you need it. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it and share it with your friends. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. You can visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.